Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. 618 on your Wednesday. Welcome to the final day of the month of February and we've had kind of a wacky month as far as our weather goes. So here's kind of a wrap up of what we saw this month. Now our typical snowfall in a typical February is 2.7 inches. We actually picked up 7.4 inches of snow this month and if we see a little snow before midnight tonight, this number may creep up a little bit, but it likely won't be much. Most of that snowfall though, of course, fell back on February 22nd where we had that record 4.2 nine inches. Otherwise, we just had little coatings here and there like what we saw earlier this week. Our warmest temperature of the month was at record setting 61 degrees back on February 3rd. And then the coldest temperature was when we dipped down to nine degrees the morning of February 20th. So we started on a very warm note and we're ending on a cold note. And that is going to be the case as we kick off March as well. We're going to see our temperatures stay well below average. Now the wettest day of the next seven is definitely tomorrow. Those are a chance we could still see a little bit of scattered precipitation in the valley on Friday. But temperature wise, we just don't budge very much. We'll hit the low 40s, upper 30s. We should be at 50 to kick off the month of March. Now, if you look at this map right here, this is our watches and warnings map. You can tell something is brewing, right? You can't tell if you walk outside right now, you wouldn't know there's a storm coming, but it is all the purple you see here are winter weather advisories that are in place from tonight through most of the day tomorrow. So all of Eastern Oregon, portions of the Boise Mountains as well. Now the white is the most severe we, uh, warning we have out there. That is a winter storm warning because heavy snowfall is imminent starting tonight into tomorrow. That is for parts of Baker County. That is for parts of Washington County and into, into the West Central Mountains. Then the Eastern Mountains of Wood River Valley has a winter storm watch in place that could very likely be upgraded to that winter storm warning before it's all said and done. Now we're already seeing a little bit of snowfall and some rain in the Pacific Northwest. This system right here is kind of the machine driving it all. So late tonight into tomorrow, we will start seeing heavy snow in Eastern Oregon and in our mountain locations, and it will be overall a wet day in the valley, though the snow here will likely be short lived and gone very quickly if we do see some. So mostly cloudy skies today, a little breezy at times. The snow will pop up around midnight. That looks to be our best chance of seeing a coating develop pretty quickly across the Treasure Valley, but then as temperatures will barely dip down to the freezing mark tomorrow morning, we'll likely see it turn over to a rain snow mix and then just rain in the valley. Some significant rain could fall by evening commute time. This is six o'clock tomorrow. So at dinner time tomorrow, if you have outdoor plans tomorrow evening, just be ready to get wet and that snow will just continue hitting the mountains all day long tomorrow. We are looking at three to seven inches possible for the West Central Mountains just tonight and then a foot to a foot and a half likely for areas like Ketchum and Stanley before the storm system is over and done with on Friday. So definitely the wettest day for the valley is tomorrow. We'll dry up heading into the weekend, but we do not warm up. In fact, we'll just hover around that 40 degree mark through early next week.